To set up Jack's mobile wallet, you have to download it from the App Store or Google Play. Just type Jack's into the search field, choose Jack's Liberty and install the application. When it is finished, open the app. The application looks similar to the desktop version. When it opens up, you will see this dashboard. In this video, we won't cover all the details and settings of the Jax wallet. We'll just focus on the fundamental items, where you can find your receive address, how to send coins, and how to back up the wallet, which is the most important part if you want to keep your coins secure and not lose access to your funds. You can find your receive address in the wallet menu page. Here you can see the most common coins and your balances. Since you haven't bought any coins yet, all the balances are zero. As an example, if you want to find your address for receiving Bitcoin, just click on Bitcoin and then click on the Receive button. Here you can see your current Bitcoin receive address. To copy your receive address, simply click on this Copy Address button. Now you can open the BitPrime website, then on the Bitcoin product page, enter your receive address here. Since you copied your address from the Jax wallet, you can just click on the address field and then tap and hold so you can paste the address. Just to be sure, check that the pasted address is correct. Don't forget that your receive address is different for different coins. Therefore, if you want to find your Litecoin receive address, you can find it under the Litecoin option. If you want to send coins, the process is quite similar. On the coin page, just press the send button. You insert the recipient's address here. Once again, please double check that the address is correct, because if you send coins to the wrong address, you won't be able to stop the transaction or get it back in any way. Let's just assume that you've received a sell quote from BitPrime and you have to insert our address. Copy the address from the received quotation and paste it here. Check that the address is correct, enter the quantity and increase it by the relevant transaction fee, then press the send button. To keep your coins safe and secure, you should back up your wallet and protect it with a password. You can set up a password and back up your wallet in the menu, which you can open from the dashboard. Just click on the button with three lines in the top corner. For full details, we suggest visiting the Jax support page. But in short, when the password is set, you'll need it for sending your assets from the specific device that you're on. But before you set up your password, you should get the backup passphrase for your wallet. A passphrase represents the set of 12 words which you need if you want to access your wallet from a different device or in the event of you losing access to your wallet for some reason. You can download the Jax wallet on a new device and by entering your passphrase it will restore access to your old wallet. Then you should set a new password for sending coins from your new device. When the passphrases are shown, make sure you write them down on paper. Type them back into the fields on the confirmation page and press confirm. Now your wallet is backed up, you can set your password which will be needed for sending coins from your current device. We'd like to stress out that you should set your password and keep it, as well as the passphrase, in a safe and secure place. If you want to learn about the Exodus desktop wallet, please click on the video in the top right corner. If you'd like to see a video for Jack's desktop wallet, please click on the video in the bottom right corner. Finally, the video in the bottom left corner will help you with the Ledger Nano S hardware wallet.